Hello dear viewer, welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you about the accusative case in Ukrainian. Znahidny vidmenok means accusative case. Znahidny vidmenok. The accusative case is used to mark the direct object of a transitive verb. What questions does it give answer to? For example, to questions like Koho means whom? Koho means whom? Sho means what in Ukrainian? Kudi means where? Koli means when? Pro Koho means about whom? Pro Sho means about what? And um, to um, change um, and the case, we have to change uh, uh, the word's ending. And the first form of a noun is in nominative case. And uh, changing words, words by the case is called declension. Changing words by the case is called declension. So, uh, in accusative case, um, uh, masculine words uh, have differentiation, for example, animate and inanimate. So animate means living uh, beings and inanimate means non-living beings. So I will give you example uh, of a masculine word, um, masculine word and animate, so living one. Uh, brat, for example, means brother. In nominative case, it's brat. And in accusative case, it's brata. So, um, the noun uh, receives, um, uh, takes ending of uh, uh, genitive case. So, brata. So, it takes ending of a genitive case. So, brata is accusative case singular. Now, let's look at nominative uh, case plural. So, nominative case plural is uh, brati. And accusative case plural is brative. Okay, one more time. Nominative case singular is brat. Accusative case singular is brata. Nominative case plural is brati and accusative case plural is brativ in Ukrainian. Now uh, I will give you an example of an inanimate uh, word. For example, telephone. It's a non-living um, object. So um, nominative case singular is telephone. Accusative case singular is also telephone. Uh, nominative case plural is telefoni, and accusative case uh, plural is also telefoni. So it just receives an e. And um, now look at the feminine uh, words. For example, rodina uh, means family. But there's also a word in Ukrainian means family, simya. So what is the difference? And the difference is that simya is your closest family, like mother, father, and brother. But um, uh, rodina, uh, the word uh, for family in Ukrainian, it includes also the relatives as well. So like uncle, aunt, and so forth. So uh, uh, the feminine words, um, Nominative case singular is um, Rodina and accusative case singular is Rodinu. So the A changes to O. I will give you a different word example. A nominative case um, singular is Kava, means coffee. And accusative case singular is Kavo. So A changes to O. When it comes to accusative case, and ya changes to you. So the word um, simya, nominative case singular, 
uh, accusative case singular is simu and um, uh, I was going to um, talk about the neutral words um, for example the word uh, uh, misto means uh, city in Ukrainian a nominative case singular is misto an accusative case singular is also misto it doesn't change and um, in um, nominative case plural is mista and accusative case um, plural is also mista so um, I hope this uh, video was um, helpful um, it gets a bit confusing uh, when uh, you learn and um, have to practice the uh, word endings and um, the cases and then uh, later um, have to see them in the sentences but I don't have time for now to make such video thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye